my channel so today I will be showing you how to do this really nice smoky eye look using the toasted palette by Tarte um, it is a new palette that just came out recently and I have loved a lot of the Tarte palettes before so I was yeah really excited to purchase this one and I am pretty happy with how this look turned out so keep on watching to see how I achieved it so I did buy a few things from Tarte and I got this really cute little package here and this is called the Skin Win Hydrating Skin Care Set. I thought this was cute just because it does come with smaller samples um, and I wanted to try these out before buying the full size. I find that my skin is a little bit more drying especially around my mouth area. I do get kind of flaky and it's important to me to really moisturize that area and keep it hydrated or else it can show up when I do put foundation on. So it's an oil, I'm not gonna pronounce it because I'm really bad with my pronunciation, but it's an oil and this is meant to hydrate your skin before putting any moisturizer or anything else on your face. Oh my God, I'm dripping it everywhere. It's very, very watery. I probably didn't need that much. Now I look like a grease ball. I'm just gonna massage this in. Wow, that feels so nice. All right, so I'm just gonna pat down my skin because, you know, you don't want it to be too oily. This is one of my favorite all-time moisturizers. I did originally buy the full size, but I don't have any left because I used it all up. So I just got a mini one just to show you guys. And this is honestly one of the best moisturizers I've used. And it is called the Drink of H2 Hydrating Boost Moisturizer. And the smell is honestly amazing. Oh, it just feels so like fresh and hydrating. So this palette is also quite um, warm as well. You can see it's more of an orange tone, especially in the second row here. So I'm going to prime my eyelids with the Soft Ochre Pro Longwear Paint Pot. I'm going to go in with Cashmere first, just to kind of set my primer. Oh, it kind of turns really orange. Wow. Okay. I kind of start at the bottom and then bring that color up. What I find about Tarte is there, there is quite a bit of fallout that comes out of these eyeshadows, but the thing is that it's very pigmented. So as soon as you put these on your eyes, it will show up really well. So I'm going to go in with warmth. Wow, that is really like orange. It looks more like a nice kind of subtle warm tone, but when I put it on, it does kind of appear really orange. I'm just going to kind of diffuse the color a little so it's not as harsh. Once I've done that, I'm going to go in with a darker color just to kind of contour the edges of my eyelids. You know what? I'm going to go in with Crackle just because I feel like Cozy might be too of a warm tone and I kind of want to darken it up a bit to make it a bit more smoky. So I've just popped a little on the edges and then what I'm going to do is grab a blending brush and we're just going to blend out that color so it's not as harsh. And try to bring that shadow inside as well. I'm just going to put a bit more darkness on the edges and slowly bring the colour inwards. I'm going to go in with flame to put this kind of in the centre of the lids. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray some Fix Plus on my brush. So just apply this color in the center because we're kind of we're gonna create like a halo effect. Wow, this color is so nice. I don't think I have anything like this. I'm gonna go back in crackle here and kind of darken up the inner corner of my eye as well as the outer corner. 
just so that halo effect is a little bit more obvious. Gently bring that on the top as well. Okay, so I've already popped on my eyeliner just to get that out of the way. And now I'm going to apply Huda Beauty Lashes. And these are in Noelle. And these are honestly like one of my favorite lashes from Huda Beauty. And I got mine from Sephora. And I'm going to prime my face before putting foundation on. And this smells so amazing. It is by Dr. Brandt. And it's good if you have large pores because it will kind of just fill them in and cover them up and make them look smaller. I'm going to go in with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. I did get the shade Medium Tan Sand. Dab this color around just to spread it up. Once that is done, I'm going to grab my beauty blender and blend this all out. Oh my god, my hair is just really annoying me right now. So I'm just going to tie it because I can't be bothered. So I'm going to go in with the Tarte Concealer and it is called Shape Tape. And I love this concealer. I've been using it for quite a long time now. And I like recommend it to everyone just because it's super creamy and it still gives you that full coverage. So this is the medium shade and I feel like it's perfect because it's not too light. Alright, once I have that, I'm going to blend that all out. So I'm going to contour my face with the Fenty Beauty Match Stick in the shade Mocha. And I do have a video on how to highlight and contour and it's pretty much what I'm doing now using the exact same products. I personally don't like to contour too much um, for every day but since we're doing more of a kind of smoky eye, we might as well. So I'm just going to blend my nose area using one of my favourite brushes for contouring the nose which is the Luxie 182 brush and this is by JD Wadey. Once that is all done, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier setting powder and we're going to set the under eyes. I'm going to brush this off. So I'm going in with warmth under the eyes. And then I'm going to go back in with Crackle to kind of define the under eyes a bit better. I'm going to go in with a white eyeliner and pop this inside to make the eyes pop a little. I'm also going to go in with a black eyeliner just to kind of define the under eyes just a little bit more. Now I'm going to put on the highlighter and I'm just using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector and this is Champagne Pop. So I'm just going to line my lips with the MAC Lip Planner in Strip Down. So I'm just going to use like a lip balm on top of my look here just to make it like kind of a little bit more glossy. It kind of smells really minty. Once that, that is done, I'm just going to take off my hair tie and fix my hair up guys I am so forgetful today okay so gotta put the mascara on the bottom lashes and I just discovered this awesome tight line waterproof mascara by it cosmetics and it has this super small and thin spoolie brush but it is amazing especially if you have small tiny lashes and this is a finished look I hope you guys enjoyed my first proper makeup tutorial and let me know in the comment section below what other kind of makeup looks you would like to see from me.